Melissa with Redemption Threads. Hope you're doing well. We're doing well here in Florida. It's rainy today. It's been super hot, so hopefully it will cool down. Um, but today I'm going to be teaching you how to thread the Brother PE 800. And this machine is a super great machine. I think it's a great starter machine. I love, love that it has the 5x7 hoop. So especially if you're wanting to start a business or uh, make a lot of things for others, it gives you a lot more room to do what you need to do. So I'm excited to teach you how to thread it. It's super simple. All right, so here it is, Brother PE 800. The first thing you wanna, you're gonna wanna do is turn it on. So if you come over here to the right, there's a little switch here. Press the on button and that's how it powers up. All right, you wanna open this little lid. Then we're gonna pick some thread. Let's come down here to my handy dandy <laughs> thread closet. Let's do this. Drawer, not closet, drawer. Okay, um, I'm gonna put my phone back up on the, the hook and then we're gonna thread this machine. You, you just put it right there and it holds it and it's ready to go. Okay, hopefully this is a good setup for you guys and you'll be able to see. I'll get closer in just a second. But you see right here, there's a number one. So you're gonna go around the number one. You see there's a little metal piece and it's got lines that show you what to do. Go under that metal piece and now the line is telling me to go up and around. So now we're gonna go up around number two. And you see it went right around there and you wanna pull it down. I like to hold the thread sometimes just to help it not uh, get too long while I'm doing it. And it just makes it easier um, to not to have it a little bit tighter when you're threading. So then this is number three, right here by this little red light. So to go around that, so we're gonna go around that. And inside here, um, I'll show you guys up close. There's a little hook that you just wanna catch it on. So you're gonna come around that. So you kind of just make a little circle, it goes around it, that's number four. And then you're gonna pull down here, and you see it's coming here down the bottom. So then what I'm gonna do, I, over here on this side, the little, the little, uh, knob sometimes you have to adjust it to make sure it's just right um, before you can pull this down but you're gonna all right you guys I'm gonna show you a close-up view hopefully I can do this without my big fingers getting in the way uh, so this is after you know you've pulled it down um, number five is just to pull it straight down see this number six see this little thing right here that's what you have to get it hooked into some people can do it with one hand but it's really got to be in there. See, I can't do it with one hand. So I'm going to take my other hand um, and I'm going to kind of just push that in there like you're flossing a tooth. Okay, and then next is number seven. You want to come to the right of number seven. See this little hook right here? That's where you want your thread to rest while you're going to pull the lever down on the left side. Do you remember I showed you that? Oh, no, it's coming down. Okay, let's get that back in there. Sorry, guys, bumping you. Okay, I'm gonna get it rested in there, perfect. Okay, remember the lever on the left side that I showed you? You wanna kinda hold your thread up and kinda a little tight so that it will pull it through correctly. So just pull that down really quickly and it hooks it through, see? Now you just wanna pull that thread out the back and you can cut it like I showed you earlier and you're ready to go, you're all threaded. Also, I forgot to mention that you do all of this with the presser foot up. So the presser foot is right under here in the back and you wanna make sure that's up while you're threading. Um, you wanna make sure this, you adjust this little rod to make sure it is um, just right there, right above that little hole. And then when you're ready to stitch and you've got your hoop under, you're gonna pull that down and then you'll be ready to stitch once you have your design all ready to go, which I don't have one in right now. But stay tuned, I will show you guys more videos of how to put the hoop in over here, how to hoop. Well, thanks for watching guys. It was so fun teaching you how to thread the Brother PE 800. It really is such a great machine and I've had this one for several years now and it got me started in my business again. I kinda dropped my business off for a while, several years went by and then I jumped back into it and this machine really got me going. So uh, it's really easy, beginner friendly. So if you're looking to get an embroidery machine, I super recommend Brother PE800 as your first one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a comment. Let me know if there's anything else you want to hear. Um, yeah, subscribe, like, all those things help me be able to post more videos. I know all the YouTubers say that, but it really is true. So if you don't mind, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Thank you.